Hi everyone, I'm Weston and this is my back to school, college and university tech guide. So I'm going to run through a list of all the essential tech I think you're going to need for starting school life or returning to school life as well. So first up, we're going to be talking phones. Now the first phone is the Vodafone Smart Face 6. So this is a £30 smartphone. Yes, a £30 phone, I mean that is ridiculous that you can pick a phone up now for £30. So I know it doesn't have all the best specs or all the latest software and all that good stuff, but it does everything that you need it to. So it'll call, it'll text, it'll email, you can check your social media. It's got a decent camera as well so you can take pictures, but at £30, I mean, you could take this as an emergency phone or take it on a night out, take it on a school trip. And if it breaks or you lose it, then you're not losing your main expensive phone. So if that's not an option for you, then the next one might be. So again, it's another one from Vodafone and this is the Smart Ultra 6. So this one is £125, but it features a 5.5 inch 1080p display and it's got a better camera, bigger battery and the latest software. So if you don't want to be tied with Vodafone, then this next one might be for you. So this is the Motorola Moto G latest generation one. So this one is a massive improvement over the last one. So here you're getting a bigger battery, a slightly better display and waterproofing as well. So it's got an IPX rating. So if it's raining outside and you've got your phone out, it's not going to matter because you're covered. So if you're not a fan of Motorola, then we've got the Alcatel Idol 4.7. So this, again, is pretty similarly priced to the Motorola, but it's a little bit more stylish in my opinion and offers some great features there as well. So next up is music. Now, if you're like me, I really love to drown out my surroundings and really get focused in on what I'm doing. So the first one I have is the Soundmagic ES19S earphones. So these come in at £20 and these are brilliant. They've got great sound quality, great build quality, and the universal as well. So that means that whatever smartphone you plug them in, they work. So if you don't like in-ears, then over-ears or on-ears are the next best sort of option. So here we have the Sony MDR ZX310, and these are probably my favorite headphones for around £20. So here you're getting great sound, decent build, pretty decent comfort as well but you can't really argue for that price. So next up, we're gonna be talking power. And by power, I mean power banks. So first up, we've got a RAV Power 3200 milliamp power battery. So this is pretty stylish. It's very small. It's very well made. So you can just slip this in your jacket pocket and it's there just in case of an emergency. So you could also take this on a night out. So if your phone's running a bit low, you can charge it up. Or you could take it on a school trip with you, a day trip or something like that. And it's not gonna to be too heavy or intrusive, but it'll just give you enough juice to phone home or update your Twitter or whatever you do on a school trip. So if uh, that one is a little bit too small, then the 10,000 milliamp hour one from Omeka will be much better. So here, you'll be able to charge your phone much more times, up to four or five times, depending on the size of the battery in your phone. Also, it's got some cool features with an LED light. So you just press the button and you've got a flashlight. Also, if you press and hold it, you get an SOS as well. So if you're on a school trip or on like a camping like vacation or something with your school, you could take this with you, charge your phone, but also have a flashlight as well. So you don't need to take a separate one, which in my opinion is pretty cool. So next up, we've got the Anchor PowerPort 5. So this is a multi-port USB hub. So what you do is you plug this into the mains and you can charge multiple devices. So you can chuck a tablet on here, you can put a phone on it, charge a camera as well. So if your kids or yourself have got a lot of tech, then this is definitely a handy piece of kit to have. Plus, it looks pretty cool and it's cheap as well. So next up, we're gonna be all about workflow. So going back to university college, you're gonna need a decent laptop. So here are my picks. So up first, we have the Lenovo G5030. So this is an Intel Celeron laptop. It's got four gig of RAM, a 500 gig hard drive, and it's 15.6 inches. You can see it's running Windows 8 as well. Not the latest version, but you'll probably be able to upgrade to Windows 10 as well. So for the price of 200 pound, and with an additional two year guarantee from John Lewis's to give you that extra peace of mind, you're getting a pretty respectable laptop. So if you've got a little bit more cash to spend and you need a more powerful machine, then the Lenovo G50 is an Intel Core i5 laptop with eight gig of RAM, a massive one terabyte hard drive and a 15.6 inch screen. So this offers more power, more performance. 
So if you're doing an engineering course or a design course, then this will definitely uh, see you through that. It's give you plenty of power to do multitasking and to do intensive tasks as well. Also, it's got a three year guarantee included, which is just amazing to be honest. Normally you only get 12 months, but with John Lewis's, you do get three years. Now you are paying that little bit of a premium for the laptop, but in my opinion, the three year guarantee outweighs that completely. So now you've got a laptop sorted, you're gonna need something to back your work up on. Now I personally use the Seagate expansion two terabyte. So this is the 2015 edition, and it is a brilliant hard drive, but two terabyte might be a little bit too overkill and a desktop hard drive is also not that portable for school. So if you're looking for something that is portable, they do a portable edition as well. So this starts from 500 gig all the way up to two terabyte. So 500 gig will be more than enough to do through school and probably will see you through school, possibly even through college as well with all your work and stuff and you'll still probably have space left over. If 500 gig isn't enough, they also do a one terabyte and two terabyte version as well. And they're not that expensive neither. I mean, I've seen much more expensive drives with less capacity. So these are definitely a great set of hard drives to take a look at. Right, so now you've seen the laptops that I've looked at, we're gonna be talking printing. Now, obviously you're gonna need a printer to print off all your reports and stuff like that. So this is my budget choice. So this is the HP DeskJet 2540. So this is an all-in-one printer. So it's a scanner, it's a copier, and obviously a printer. Now being 30 pounds, it's not the nicest looking, it's not the best made, but I've had this through most of university to the present and it's never broke, it's never gone wrong. I've not needed it fixing and it's just been a solid workhorse. Plus, it's pretty inexpensive to run as well with the ink right here. So this is the 301 pack. So with the 301 pack, you're gonna get 190 black and white sheets or 165 color, which is pretty decent considering the ink isn't that expensive. And we all know how extortionate prices ink is so finding one that's this cheap is pretty cool. So finally, we're gonna need something to carry all this stuff in. So I've got a couple of bags here. So obviously you're not gonna be able to fit your printer in it and you wouldn't really want to take your printer with you anyway. But here are the selected bags that I've chosen for you. So first up is a Tech Air 17.6 inch one. Now this is a pretty massive bag, so you could fit a really big laptop in here, you could fit all your books, all your notes, your pens, your pencils, your phones, your power banks, your camera, and all that good stuff into one bag. Now, it is a very inexpensive bag as well, so I will link the price, the current price of that down in the description. And plus it's Tech Air as well, and I've been using Tech Air for years. All through uni I used a Tech Air bag, I had a Tech Air laptop bag, and I had a Tech Air laptop sleeve as well and it's all really high quality but really inexpensive gear. So if a 17 inch is a little bit too big for you, we've got another option as well. So this one is the Targos Intellect. So this is a 15.6 inch laptop bag. So it's a little bit smaller, so that means you can't fit as big a laptop in, but you're not gonna be really carrying a 17 inch laptop anyway. 15 is about the butter zone for portability and uh, obviously specifications and screen size and stuff like that. But this also has the same sort of features as the Tech Air. So it's got all the pockets and stuff to put your laptop in, to put your work in, to put your phone and stuff in as well. Right, so that is it for this video. I hope it's been helpful. If you think I've missed any products or you need me to help you pick something else or you need any other buying advice, drop me a comment down below and I will happily help. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Do all the good shares, likes, comment and all that good stuff too. So thank you for watching and I will see you all on the very next video.